All right, hi, and welcome to our video for 4.1, Defining the Atom. Finally, we're getting past all the preliminary stuff you kind of need to know to help you out, and we're getting to some real chemistry. All right, so first let's talk about the definition of the atom. You guys kind of know this already, but an atom is the smallest particle of an element that retains its identity in chemical reactions, right? So if you have a block of... Iron, for example, that's the world's worst block, and we cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it until we get the teeniest tiny piece, right? So looking under the world's most powerful microscope, imagine, and you saw here one thing that's one, the smallest possible piece that's still iron, that would be the atom. And just like the activity you did in class a little while, holy cow, this pen is not working today. Just like the activity you did in class where they had the individual atoms rec There we go. The individual atoms represented by circles. Right? That's what you have going on here. So that would be one atom. That would be two more atoms. Sometimes you might see them see them on regions questions drawn like so, where they're kind of filled in. Okay. So either way, atom. Okay, so let's talk about some early models of the atom because obviously they're so small we haven't really known or theorized about them forever. Right? One of the earlier people to think about the atom was this Greek philosopher, Democritus. And he believed that atoms were indivisible, right? not dividable, and indestructible, not dividable. Destructible, can't be destroyed. Well, in a chemical means, he was absolutely correct. Later on, when we get to uh, nuclear chemistry in the spring, we'll see that there's a little more to it. But for our purposes now, you're not going to get anything smaller than an atom. Well, many, many years later, this guy John Dalton, he's an English chemist and school teacher, kind of like me. Huh. Well, except I don't know. Well, anyway, kind of like me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. So, he came up with his own atomic theory, and these are really, really important. You're going to need to write each one of these four of coming things down. As always, you can abbreviate, but we've got to have this all down. All right, one, all elements are composed of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. It's all elements. All right, this stuff you guys kind of know already, but it's good to put it on paper. This way, it'll help you remember. Two. Atoms of the same element are identical and are different from the atoms of other elements. Right? Remember when we did the R, S, Q, and T activity? Right? So R is different than S, Q, is different than T, but every atom of T is the same, if I could draw, as every other atom of T. Three. Atoms of different elements can physically mix together or chemically combine to form compounds. So physically mix together where you have a thing with just some different stuff in it or chemically combine to form different compounds. And finally, number four, chemical reactions occur when atoms are separated. So if we separated these, that would be a chemical reaction. If we bring two things together, like this, plus this yields this, okay, that's joined or rearranged. However, atoms are never changed into atoms of another element from a chemical reaction. So when we break this apart, we're always going to get an R and an SQ. We're never going to get this being broken down into two different SQs. Not possible. Okay. So that, let, yeah, but, but, but. next, let's think of the size of the atom. The atom is so small that there's never a chance, even with any kind of microscope that uh, we have at school, there's no way we're ever going to see an atom. So let's think about a penny. Right? How many atoms would fit in that penny? 
Well, that would be 2.4 times 10 to the 20 seconds. So we're going to say 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, uh, 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 uh. so 24. Thousand million billions quadrillions quadrillion septillion septillion so twenty four septillion atoms inside a penny it's more than you could count in your lifetime next the radii right what's the radii well that's a plural of radius so if you take the atom and imagine it's yay big. The distance from the center to the outside is between 5 times 10 to the minus 11th and 2 times 10 to the minus 10th meters. So what's that? So we're going to say 5, and we'll draw 11 zeros in front of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and put our dot here. Between that and 2 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, with a 0 here, that many meters. Really, really, really tiny. All right, this one was short and sweet. All done, and I'll uh, see you guys in school.